Hold up, hold up. Let's get it, let's get it together now. You hear me? I'm sorry, y'all. Let me, um, shit. All right. Boom. All right. What's the abs, bro? You feel me? Skip the intro. Look, bro, skip the intro. We getting straight to the bit, bit, bobs. You hear me? Niggas gotta stop what they doing. I'm gonna keep it a bean with y'all. You feel me? Lexi, you gotta stop what you're doing, Miss Lady. You hear me? Like, you gotta stop what you're doing. All you WNBA players, y'all gotta stop what y'all doing. So, um, cause we about to get straight to the beans and rice. You feel me? We about to get straight to the beans and rice. Look, I'm gonna keep it a bean with y'all. Like, I had no plans on making this video. Like, at all. You hear me? I was upstairs chilling. You feel me? I'm upstairs with my lady. She listening to music. I'm, 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 I'm watching a video on YouTube. And shout out to Melanin King. You feel me? Shout out to Melanin King. I never knew she existed prior to the day. You feel me? Like, her shit came down my timeline. And I happened to click the video. You feel me? And she was reacting to the video that I'm about to play. But, uh... Bro, I ain't gonna lie, bro. I was so disturbed by what I heard. I was like, forget this, bro. Like, fuck that. I gotta make my own video. Like, I got, like, I was compelled to give my perspective of what this lady is about to get into. You feel me? So, I just want to put that out there. Like, because they, they always trying to make it seem like I'm a misogynist or I hate women and bit, bit, bop. Like, no, bro. Like, I wasn't planning to make this video, bro. Like, I heard what this lady said. And, and, and I'm going to keep it a bean with y'all. Like, after I did some investigation, I, it, it wasn't just Lexi. You feel me? Now, for those who don't know who I'm referring to, Lexi Brown is, she's a WNBA player. She's a uh, she she's the daughter of an, an ex-NBA player. You feel me? Like, But I did some investigation, and it was it ain't just her. It seemed like, like damn near the whole WNBA had... Like, felt a certain type of way about what Michael Porter Jr. said. So, I ain't gonna waste no more time. Let's, let, let's get into it. A lot of hate in the air. We gotta talk about uh, some hate that the women's side is getting. Uh, Michael Porter no. Jr. No. Cole, hold up, hold up, bro. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I don't, I, don't, I, don't, I don't mean to stop it so early. See, this, this is the problem, bro. This is the problem with America, bro. Let me let me rewind it. Hold up, cause I don't like this shit, bro. Like niggas gotta stop what they doing. It's niggas we like him, bro. Here. We gotta talk about uh, some hate that the women's side is getting. Uh, Michael Porter Jr. pulled up to the pivot recently. Bro, uh, no, stop what you see. This is what I'm saying. Like we gotta stop pandering to women's feelings, bro. Stop what you doing. Right is right and wrong is wrong. If somebody is saying the truth, whether a female like it. Or agree with it. It, it. Like, it doesn't matter if she like it or not, bro. It doesn't matter if you agree with what I'm saying. If it's the truth. If I'm being sincere when I say this, like, fuck how you feel, bro. It's facts over feelings. So, him opening up with that statement, oh, we got to address the haters and, you know, they, 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 people hating on the WNBA. Ain't nobody fucking hating on no WNBA, bro. Niggas is trying to give them advice. Trying to help them improve their product. Like, stop. Like, stop it, bro. Yeah. Uh -oh. And they're very talented. But so is so is a famous ping pong player. They're just as talented as a... As a like, the best ping pong player is just as talented as the best basketball player. That doesn't mean they're going to get paid the same. Because it's, right. it's like ping pong. It's what the people want to watch. You know what I mean? So, Facts. as much as I understand females wanting the same treatment as as men, basketball players, it's... it's it's a different sport. People, they're not packing out the arenas. Obviously, their TV deals aren't the same. So as much as I advocate for women and kind of the equality of the respect of their craft and all those things, I mean, you can't pay them the same thing, you know, but I do feel like they should, there, there should be a little way to make a little bit more money. Right? And you can't, let me just say this real quick and I'm going to let it play. You can't pay them the same because it's not generating the same amount of money. Like, this isn't rocket science. Like, this is shit that WNBA players already know. Like, because they are very talented. Yeah, I think the I think the big thing, um, obviously, when you're thinking about negotiations, labor unions, and different things like that, I don't believe there's any woman that believes she should be paid as a man gets paid. It's more about the revenue share. It's more about the percentage. And I think those things play into it. And then the other side of it is treatment. 
you know, within their own organizations. Like they're never like they, they don't. Well, it's not make, as exciting. They, no, it's it's not as it's exciting. It's not as exciting basketball. Yeah, you're not. They got a load of rims. I would watch a girl come down the like, huh? On another, I would watch that. They need a load. They're actually. All right, so now she's about to respond. Um, so, Lexi, you have some thoughts on MPJ's comments. The uh, floor is yours. Well, let me start by saying, I think his heart was in the right place. So I'm not here to shit on Michael Ford Jr. I do think he started he started on the right <laughs> foot, and then he just kind of put it in his mouth. And, like, my issue with the pivot is they allow these guys to say things that they know is wrong and they just they just are like okay keep keep going keep going or they'll feed them more information for them to then double down on the stupid shit that they had just said but what was wrong about what he said y'all the WNBA do not generate the same amount of money as the NBA so that wasn't wrong Laurel Laurel I don't know why I can't pronounce this word. But if they lower the rim, it would be more exciting to the people, bro. Seeing y'all dunk and shit like that, you feel me? That would be more exciting. That would give people another reason to want to watch WNBA games. Now, that's an opinion, but have y'all tried it yet? Like, y'all haven't put it to the test, so, like, you haven't tested the theory, so you don't know if that's wrong or not. Like, like what did he lie about? Like, you feel me? Get to it. Identifying us as females instead of women the whole Stop time. Stop it. Um, that we can't get treated the same. And then he See, now, like, this is the, like, when when a woman don't have a legitimate argument, like, when her, you feel me, when her response isn't grounded on, on anything, like, when she don't have, like, a real fucking, you feel me, it's like, now I got a nitpick, like, he called us females instead of women, like. Who gives a fuck? Y'all females. Y'all are females. Are you not a female, miss? You are a female. Like, why are you crying about something as small as that? Stop it. He then says treatment to payment, which are two completely different things. We can still be treated with respect, and they can respect our craft without us making 20 to $30 million a year. Like, those things are not... So both of those things can happen. We cannot get paid thirty million dollars, and we can be respected and treated well for being professional basketball. Players. Why the fuck should y'all get thirty mil? Stop! Listen, let the record show that this is not a safe place. The truth was out here. All my words got squatter rights. You see, what I'm saying, see, she's delusional as fuck. She like that wasn't no freestyle shit. She thought about this, bro. Like she actually had like thoughts about this, like. She really think that women should get paid 20 to $30 million a year annually, just like men. Like, why? How? Where are they going to get this fucking money from? Like, where? Where? The NBA got a fucking... Like, do y'all know the truth about the WNBA, bro, and their finances? And, like, stop what you're doing, bro. Y'all welfare babies. We just gonna keep it a bean, bro. Y'all are funded by the NBA. This is how they keep the lights on. You feel me? This is how they stop from going in the negative. This is how they even the odds because y'all don't generate enough money. If the NBA stop funding y'all... The WNBA will dissolve. It will be obsolete. It will cancel out itself. Y'all don't generate enough fucking money. Stop it. Stop it, bro. Lowering the rims comment. Y'all already know how I feel about that. It's stupid. It doesn't benefit me personally at all. Because I'm not going to dunk it. I can't dunk at a 10-foot rim. I'm definitely not going to dunk at a 9-foot rim. It's going to fuck up my shooting. It's going to fuck up everybody's shooting. And I just feel like the way he plays basketball, like he shoots a lot of threes. I just don't. You don't. He doesn't dunk. He wants us to dunk. You dunk. Like. See, this is what women do. See, see, she she still hasn't actually said anything legitimate in response to what he said. Now she's now she's making it personal. 
What does that have to do with anything? How he played? He's talking about how to improve the WNBA and what would make it more exciting and more appealing to the audience, right? But you make it personal. Oh, he shoots threes. Look at how he played. He shoots threes. If you want us to dunk, why won't you dunk? First of all, he do dunk, dumbass. That's one. Number two, him dunking or how many shoes he, how many threes he shoot a game has no bearing on what he's discussing. That's how you know she's, her feelings is her. She's in her feelings, bro. And this is the problem. Y'all don't know how to, I'm talking about with women in general. Y'all don't know how to like detach y'all emotions from shit. Everything is personal. Every Y'all got to make everything fucking personal. This is why y'all make terrible managers, horrible bus drivers. This is why y'all become tyrants because everything is fucking personal. That man will destroy you on the NBA court. He's probably making 20 times more than you. Is that what you mad about? Like, say something like, come on. our games they don't know us they don't ask us our opinions about anything ever and like if you don't have to watch us play that's fine but like for you to just sit there and just constantly shit on our craft our product and everything without really being tuned in like it's just not it's not right how did he shit on how did he shit on him bro that's what i'm saying like this is why you can't filter your logic through emotions because then it just get all convoluted. It just get all diluted. It, he never shitted on you, bro. He never shitted on the, NBA, the WNBA. The truth hurts. That's that's really what it is. Like the like this. Listen, bro. Y'all always. That's the problem. Y'all too busy trying to compete with men. That is y'all biggest problem in life. Not just in the WNBA. Not just in the work field, just in life. Y'all, y'all trying to compete with is not a fucking competition. Y'all be women and allow us to be men, but no, y'all want to compete with us. Oh, if men can do it, I can do it. And it, it, like you know the excuse and all it. Like, stop trying to compete with men. Honestly, like female, listen, women's basketball is not. As entertaining as men's basketball because it is a sport that thrives off of athleticism. Women are not athletic. Y'all not athletic. The most I didn't make y'all to be athletic. Why? Because you're women. You are women. Y'all are women. Y'all have a different role on this planet. But no, y'all want to be just like us. Y'all want to emulate us. That's why the world is so fucked up because you have too many women trying to be men, trying to stay in y'all fucking lane. And, you, and you're right. The only thing you're right about is fuck low in the rim. It don't matter. Y'all ain't going to be able to dunk any fucking way. You fuck around and break y'all wrist. Like, it's just not for y'all. Did you know in ancient times, like when the Bible governed the the, the law of the land, when like you get what I'm saying, like women, women and children didn't even go to war. It's just like it's a reason why the Most High like set up laws and shit for women not to be able to go to war. It's not y'all not built for that, and y'all y'all too fucking emotional. It's just like, listen, bro. If y'all want to blame, if you're gonna blame anybody, blame women, cause women don't even fucking consume y'all product. Even women themselves don't fuck with the WNBA. You want to blame it? It's, it's a women's sport, so shouldn't women support it? Right? I mean, don't the black women, don't black women out earn black men? Like, y'all should be making more money than the NBA, right? I mean, technically. Women don't even support that bullshit. It's a trash product, bro. I swear to God, me and my girl be laughing at you bitches, bro. Respectfully. Just y'all are... Now, some of y'all are good. But for the most part, it's a trash fucking product, bro. It's not... It's just not 
the NBA, bro. And it will never be the NBA. I don't give a fuck what you do. You can lower the rim. You can pay them. The, uh, like, paying them more money is not going to improve the product. Okay? Y'all don't deserve to make as much to make as much money as men. I'm sorry. I don't give a fuck. Y'all do not deserve. And it don't make sense. Like, be realistic. You all in your feelings, you know, men make more money than us. And they make 20 times more than us. And it isn't fair. Yes, it is fair. Why? Because the numbers say so. Get out your fucking feelings, man. It's a peasy world. You mad or not?